Attorney General Greg Zeller has made cracking down on human trafficking a big priority while in office so far, and we want to welcome in Indiana's Attorney General now. Thanks so much yeah. for being here. Good, Good to, to see here. you. These cases are still obviously under investigation right now, but really, how big of a problem is this across our area? You know, there's a growing area. The commercial sex industry is really now being taken over by the uh, organized crime units. So we'll really see more of this, and I'm I'm glad to see these kind of actions taken. So between cracking down on the traffickers and doing more to prevent the demand side of it. So those are the two things that we've always focused on in my office. This is a big issue, of course, back during the Super Bowl, and sure. it seems to come up again when there are big events here in town. Is it getting better or is it getting worse? Well, I think it's getting worse when it comes to the organized crime element. Uh, they've always been involved with the drug side. This is another big area that they're moving into, and quite frankly, they have uh, these women that they either bring over from other countries, very vulnerable, or they, they find uh, young girls that have run away from home, already been a abused. Uh, so this is a growing area and it's something that we really need to focus on. What's working in this ongoing fight right now? What's helping? Well, I think the, the greater use of law enforcement, but really we need to focus on the demand side. So this is a primarily men who uh, frequent these places and we really meet, need to make it more of a punishment. To buy another human being really is something that we should make a more serious crime and, and make sure that there's enough of a deterrent uh, so that men won't do this. No word yet from officials on what triggered these investigations yet today, but for those of us out in the community, how can we help? What can we do to help? Well, watching for the red flags of human trafficking. So young girls that are in, let's say, almost look like they're in custody with older men, uh, you will often see them either bruised. So this is not a, a victimless crime, a lot of violence involved. Uh, they can often be without any identification. Uh, they can some, sometimes look disoriented and maybe uh, they get them hooked on drugs. That's another controlling factor. But if you see something that's really just way off, you just have this sense that there's something wrong, you really should report it. See something, say something, Mr. Yeah. Attorney General. Thanks yeah. for your work. Thanks for being here. Yeah. We appreciate your time. Thank you.